Welcome to similar right triangles, 9.3. Uh, I want to point out a couple really simple things here. Uh, geometric mean, all you're doing is multiplying two numbers together, um, and then you take the square root. That's all you have to do to find the geometric mean. So if I say, what's the geometric mean between 2 and 5? All you do is take 2 times 5, and that's 10, and then take the square root of that. All right, and that'll be your geometric mean. Very simple. So they use this term geometric mean to figure out lengths of triangles. So in these triangles that we see here, we have um, a small triangle, we have a medium triangle, and we have a large triangle. So we draw three triangles, and then we try to match up all the different um, letters in the correct positions. Or you can learn these formulas. Now the first one here uh, is the altitude theorem, where you take the altitude of the bigger triangle, which is CD, CD, and then you square it. And that's equal to the bottom two hypotenuse segments multiplied together. All right? And really, how do we get CD? By taking the square root of multiplying these two numbers together. That's the same thing as the geometric mean formula. Now, that's the only one where it's just one segment times another segment. Um, partial segments, I should say. Now down here, CB is the altitude of the big triangle. That squared is equal to DB times the full hypotenuse, okay? And that's the key behind these two formulas down here. It's always a partial segment multiplied by the whole segment, okay? Now if we look at AC, AC is the hypotenuse or excuse me, the altitude of the large triangle, okay? And um, that is going to be squared times the AD times AB, the very large one, okay? So AD times AB. And the top one here, we had DB times AB. So both of those, notice, are the exact same segments, okay? AB is the large one in, in this uh, top formula, and AB is the long one in um, the bottom formula. Okay, so it all depends on which one you're looking for. Notice that this part right here, DB and AD, depend on which altitude you're using. So if we're looking for CB, we use the little segment here. If we're looking for uh, AC, we use uh, the larger segment of the two or I'm going to show you how to do this. All right, identify the similar triangles. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is draw, um, I'll do it this way, uh, a large triangle. And the large triangle here is the overall triangle that we see here. So now you got to put them in the right order. G is the, the long leg here to H, where the 90 degrees is, and F would be the short side here. Then we do a medium triangle, and the medium tri triangle we'll do in blue. That's this triangle in the center here. And again, the longer part is G. And it goes to E, where the 90 degree angle is, and then to H. And then we're gonna draw uh, an even smaller triangle, which is the little tiny one right here. And H is the top part. And it goes uh, to um, F. I'm sorry, to E, which is the 90 degree angle, and H is, uh, excuse me, F is the, EF is the small leg. So it's important that you get these in the right order. So now you have to say what they are. So you say triangle, oops, uh, GHF is similar to triangle GEH, and that's similar to triangle HEF. All right, and we do the same thing down here. Draw three triangles. And what do we have here? So here I'm going to go L to M to K. L is the top, M is the 90 degrees, and K is what's left. And then I'm going to do the bigger of the two smaller triangles, L to M to N. Okay. I'm sorry, that's wrong. Um, L to N to M. So L to the 90 degrees, 
N, sorry, N, and then to M. So I always put the 90 degrees in the middle. That makes it easier to remember. And then the small one, M to the 90 degree to K. So M to N to K. And then you have to write your triangle similarity. So triangle LMK similar to triangle LNM is similar to triangle MNK. All right, find the value of X. So here's how you do this. Number three, we're going to draw three triangles. You can learn the formulas if you want. Sometimes it's easier to do it this way. Okay. So, um, let's see. We have, uh, we're going to go X to the 90 degrees. Always go to the 90 degrees. X to the 90 degree angle to Y. And let's put everything in, in the correct positions. X to Z is 24. And Z to Y is 7. And X to W, um, I'm sorry, X to Y is 25. And then the bigger of the two small triangles would be X to W and then to Z. So X to W, we don't know. And um, W to Z is X. And X, let's see, Z to X is 24. And then the small one, we have Z to W, and then to Y. So Z to W is X, and uh, Y to Z is 7. And again, I don't know W, Y. So now you have the proportions that you can set up. Okay? So I'm just going to use, you can use any of the three triangles. Okay? So I'm going to do um, X is to 7 as... 24 is to 25. And then just cross multiply and figure it out. So that's 25x equals 7 times 20 is 140, and 7 times 4 is uh, 28. So 140 and 28 is 168. And then divide off the 25. So x equals 6.72. So approximately 6.72. Actually, it's exact. <laughs> Okay, now number four, we do the same thing. Oops, a little bit smaller there. All right, so I'm gonna draw the bigger triangle here. And I'll go, always do the longest leg on the left side. So R to S to Q. So R to S to Q. R to S is 16, S to Q is 12. And QR is 20. And then the next bigger triangle is this one right here, again. Uh, largest leg would be, uh, let's see, R to T. Always go to the 90 degrees. And then T to S is X, and R to S is 16. All right, and then we have the smaller one, uh, S to T, and T to Q. S to T is X, and Q to S is 12. All right, so it doesn't matter which one you use. I'm going to use the first two here again just because they're all lined up nice and neat. X to 12 is to 16 to 20. So 20x equals 16 times 12 is 192. Divide off the 20. Oops, and x is approximately 192 divided by 20 is 9.6. Exactly, actually. Okay, same thing on this one, number five draw these a little bit skinnier okay so again e to g to f e to g to f and e to g is 36 g to f is 15 and the hypotenuse is 39 okay and then the next one we go e to h to g e to h to g e to h we don't know h to g is x and g to e is 36 and again, I don't need to do the small one because I see that these two are in the right positions at the moment. Okay, so x to 15 as 36 is 39. So 39x equals 36 times 15 is 540. And take 540 divided by 39, and x is now approximately 13.8.
Okay, number six is going to be C to B to A. C to B to A. Again, that's 30, 16, and this is 34. And the next size will be uh, C to D to B. C to D to B. C to D, we don't know. D to B is X, and B to C is 30. Again, I don't need to do the smaller one. Uh, um, so let's see, that's X is to 16 as 30 is to 34. 34X equals, uh, see, 3 times 16 is 48, and you add a 0. All right, divide uh, 480 divided by 34, and X is approximately 14.1. Okay, now we just have, um, we don't have any letters, so we'll have to draw this um, accordingly here as we make the triangle here, okay? So in the big triangle, the long side to the 90 degrees, and then up the short side. So the long side is 23, the short side is 12.8, and the hypotenuse is 26.3. And then the little, the middle, mid-sized triangle, the long side to 90 degrees, and then to the corner, uh, that's 26.3, and the short side is x, and the hypotenuse is 23. So again, we do know, we have enough information, we don't need the small one here. X is to 12.8, I'm going to put it up here, as 23 is to 26.3. Okay, so now we just do the calculation, 26.3x equals 23 times uh, 12.8, and that's 294.4, and divide that by 26.3, and x is approximately 11.2. Okay, number eight, same type of thing. Uh, the large triangle here. Oh, we do the long leg first. Um, this is, okay, so it's a three-dimensional view, so it's kind of weird. All right, so we have 4.6 and then 3.5, and the hypotenuse is 5.8. Then the mid-sized triangle is going to be, uh, let's see here, we don't know that one. And that is X, and then the hypotenuse is 4.6. Again, that's enough information here. We have the corresponding positions. So x is to 3.5. Let's put it up here. x is to 3.5 as 4.6 is to 5.8. 5.8 x equals 3.5 times 4.6. 16.1. So take 16.1 divided by 5.8 and we get 2.8. Okay, now the geometric mean, this is all you got to do. So just get out your calculator, and you just take 8 times 32. Oops, 8 times 32. I get 256, and you take the square root of that, and that should give you 16. That's all you have to do on these. So 9 times 16, gives you 144. The square root of 144 is 12. 14 times 20 should give you 280. Take the square root of that. That gives you 16.7. Now the trick is students forget to do this on the test. Don't do that. 25 times 35 is 875. Make sure you put the right numbers in. Take the square root and that's approximately 29.6. 16 times 25 is 400. The square root of that is 20. 8 times 28 is 224. Take the square root of 224, and you get 14.97, or approximately 15. Take 17 times uh, 36, get 612. Take the square root of 612, we get 24.7 and 24 times 45 we get 1080 the square root of 1080 
is 32.9. And that's how you do geometric mean. All right, back to the normal stuff of what we're doing. Just set up your proportions. Number 17, tall triangle here. It's going to be, we don't know that one, we don't know that one, and the hypotenuse is 20. So we probably aren't going to use the big triangle. Now the middle triangle, again, the long side to the 90 degrees, to the short side, 16 to x. We don't know the hypotenuse, and then we have the little triangle. The little triangle, again, the long side to the 90 degrees is x. The short side is 4, and we don't know the hypotenuse, but we have what we need. But this is the problem. We have 16 is the x, as x is the 4, and when you cross multiply, that gives you an x squared. But 4 times 16 is 64, and we know how to get x from x squared by taking the square root. So x is equal to 8. Again, look at the next one. Uh, the long side to the short side we don't know. And the hypotenuse is 13. And the medium sized triangle, long side to the 90 degrees, to the short side, 8 and y. And then we have the little triangle. We have the long side is y, and the short side is 5. So 8 is to y, as y is to 5. y squared equals 40. So you take the square root of 40 on your calculator. And y is approximately 6.3. Okay, same thing here. We don't know either of those two. This is y plus 12. Ooh, it's getting ugly. So the middle one is the long side to the 90 degrees to the short side. y is to 18. And then we have the little triangle. Long side is 18. Short side is 12. So y is to 18, as 18 is to 12. So 12y equals 18 squared is 324, divided by 12 is 27. So y is 27. Number 20. We don't know the long side or the short side. Hypotenuse is 25 plus x. So we're probably not going to use it. The mid-sized triangle, long side is 25, short side is 10, and then the small triangle. Small triangle, the long side is 10, short side is x. So 25 is to 10, as 10 is to x. So 25x equals 100, divided by 25, x is 4. So on this picture, the numbers are so close we can't tell which side's the longer side or not. Um, so what you have to do is maybe know the formulas um, if you can figure it out. Um, the other way, then do so. So the formulas are the altitude squared times uh, the other segment pieces. So here we have this altitude. Altitude is from the corner to a 90 degree angle. So the altitude squared is equal to um, your closest leg to that value times the whole side. So now we have the square root of x squared is x and the square root of 45. So now you have to take the square root of 45 on your calculator and that gives you 6.7, approximately 6.7. Okay. Same thing on the next one, but I think we can see the longer legs here. But I'll go ahead and use the formula just to do it. You go ahead and set up the three triangles and see if you can do it. So here, this altitude, again, it's the same as the last problem. B squared is equal to the closer side times the whole side, 22. So B is equal to square root of 16 times 22, 352. So B is approximately 18.8. Okay. Same thing here. Um, we have the altitude is 27 is equal to the closer leg times the whole thing, Z. So here we have 27 squared. So 27 squared is 729. 
equals 16z, divide off the 16. So divided by 16, and we get 45.6 is approximately z. Now the next one, I'll go ahead and do uh, the three triangles again. So the three triangles, the bigger triangle is the longer side is x. I don't know the short side, but the whole, the hypotenuse is 8. Mid triangle, I don't know, I can get this longer side, that should be 6. The altitude, I don't know, and the hypotenuse is x. And then we have the short triangle. I don't know the longer side, the short side is 2, and I don't know the hypotenuse. So I can't even use that one. So here we can do proportions again. x is to 6, as 8 is to x. And notice that's x squared equals 48. So you take the square root of 48, and you get x is approximately 6.9. Now the last one, what they do wrong, let's just solve the problem. Uh, they're solving for z, and they're using the formulas. Um, so this is an altitude of the um, smaller triangle here, I think they're using. So they're using z squared, so that's your altitude. So it has to be, um, oh, I guess it's the bigger triangle here. So uh, z squared is equal to the closer leg, v, times the longer leg, w plus v. Oh, so they put the wrong letter there. And that's how you would do that piece. Okay, uh, and here are your answers. So good luck, and hopefully you learned something.